this class we discuss about the constructional detail and operation of a metal halide lamp metal halide lamps are similar in construction to high pressure mercury vapor lamps but in addition to mercury a number of iodides iodide means salt are added which will fill the gaps in the light spectrum and these lamps are operated at higher temperatures and pressures iodides are used to improve the color characteristics of light a halide is a chemical compound of a halogen combined with an electro positive element a halogen is a monovalent element which readily forms negative ions there are five halogens fluorine chlorine bromine iodine astadine inventor of metal halloid lamps in the year 1912 scientist charles p stemens the first to use halloid salts in a mercury vapor lamp in the year 1962 scientist robert reiling developed the first reliable metal halloid lamp scientist robert reiling built on the work of scientist stemens to complete his work the metal halloid became more popular and decades later the price of the lamp became more affordable metal halloid lamp is very popular due to its good quality white light and good lamp efficacy now we'll see the constructional detail of a metal halloid lamp this is a figure of a metal halloid lamp its construction is similar to a high pressure mercury vapor lamp it consists of two main electrodes a b main electrode one axillary electrode c is axillary electrode a ballast choke or high reactance transformer and a capacitor there are two glass tubes one is the outer glass it is used for insulation as well as to block ultraviolet radiation which is made up of borosilicate inner tube or discharge tube contains starting gas argon plus mercury plus metal halloid salt filaments are tungsten material treated with the radioactive thorium molybdenum is used in sealing discharge tube as it does not expand even under extremely high temperature molybdenum is highly resistant to corrosion and is also used in high strength steel armor and electrical contacts metal halloid lamps have a coated finish on the inside of the outer bulb that diffuses light often a phosphor coat is used to diffuse light as well as changing the lamp's color properties choke is provided to develop high voltage and to limit the current after discharge capacitor is provided to improve the power factor halide salts used in metal halide lamp number 1 silver chloride white color silver fluoride no color silver bromide pale yellow silver iodide green yellow so this is a constructional detail of a metal halloid lamp now we see the operation of metal halloid lamp when lamp is cold the halides and mercury condenses on the discharge tube or inner tube when the supply is switched on current passes through the starting electrode or axillary electrode and jumps to a short distance leading to the main electrode argon is used to start discharge in the lamp and it strikes and initiates an arc at low temperature after arc initializes the tube heats up and the mercury is vaporized the initialized arc activates to work through the resistance of the gas and during this period more molecules of the gas become ionized 
This creates more electric current to pass through the tube, allowing the arc to become wider and hotter. The vaporized mercury reaches the main electrode. There is less resistance path and current stops flowing through the starting electrode. At the mercury vapor, arc strikes and heats the halides vaporized and gets separated. The metal atoms diffuse away from the arc to cooler areas and recombine with the halogen before they damage any part of the electrodes and the lamp is now fully warmed up and produce its white light. This is the operation of metal halide lamp. Advantages of metal halide lamp Number one, more pure white light than the popular high pressure sodium vapor lamp. Number two, more energy efficient than mercury vapor lamp. Number three, lumens per wattage range from 65 to 115. Number four, lifetime is 20,000 hours for mounted base up and 10,000 hours for horizontal mounted lamps. Number five, color rendering index is 60 to 90. Disadvantages of metal halloid lamps. Number one, very high manufacturing cost. Number two, the light is very bright, produces much more light pollution than high pressure sodium vapor lamps since the whites from a metal halloid lamp are closer to daylight in frequency warm up time is 1 to 15 minutes applications of metal halloid lamps number one these lamps are suitable for flood lighting industrial lighting and general lighting number two Outdoor lighting where good color rendering is needed. Number three, television, film lighting, sports field, car headlights, heavy flashlights, and greenhouse applications. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.